Hi, this is your Sapil Bhartia and welcome to TFR Let's Talk. Today we have with us once again, Gregory Kurtzer, co-founder of CentOS, founder of Rocky Linux, co-founder of OpenELA and founder and CEO of CIQ. Gregory, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you, Swap. It's great to be here. Talk a bit about what is OpenELA. OpenELA is um, several organizations coming together to ensure that uh, well, to be to be blunt, open source software is always freely available and accessible to everybody. Uh, it seems funny that we have to say that nowadays, but we do. And what brought companies like CIQ, Oracle, and SUSE together to start OpenELA? We all came together due to necessity. It was important for us to ensure that the source code of enterprise Linux is available. Um, it's available to everybody. And um, and we can we can respond and work on it collaboratively between each other. It doesn't make sense for us for multiple organizations to be doing the same thing on open source software and to be replicating work. So this allows us to be a lot more efficient and again collaborate as open source you know should and um, and what open source does best. It has been a couple of months since OpenELA was announced launched. Talk a bit about if you look at today in 2024, what excites you most about this project today? Collaboration. Uh, the thing that's always drawn me into open source was always has always been the collaboration and the collaborative nature of being able to work with different organizations, different people. Um, and what you're seeing here with OpenELA are three major organizations that are all uh, related in the sense that we're all leveraging an enterprise Linux background. Um, and it's super important for us to be able to, to, to know and to ensure that this open source software is always going to be freely available to everybody. Uh, so it's not even just us, it's the entire community at large. And what stems from that is not only collaboration on, on enterprise Linux, but we are now starting to expand that as well. We've recently released a documentation repository that now we're doing a collaboration on documentation for enterprise Linux. And you're gonna see um, some additional things coming as well in terms of additional areas of collaboration. And then uh, what happens in the future is going to be super, super exciting as well as we start looking at uh, what does Enterprise Linux 10, 11, and 12 look like?